right, we're in the car. We're going into Manhattan to start shooting. This is gonna be a pretty exciting shoot because we're going all around Midtown and I have some friends that we're gonna meet up with who are gonna be really interesting to shoot because they all have different skills and talents. There's always a lot of motion with Brendan's work. So the challenge is, you know, keeping up with him and making it look cinematic at the same time. So here we go into the Lincoln Tunnel. We're about to start our shoot. Now we're in Grand Central Station. This is where all the trains in New York come together. This is a really famous spot. A lot of movies have been shot here. Uh, and it's also a great spot to shoot when it's bad weather outside, but you still want to have a lot of space to move around. So I'm going to do some moving shots using the horizontal handles on the cage. Hey, I'm Alexis Hall. And I'm going to be filming Alexis, our actress who's playing the violin. So first I'm going to be shooting with the 1X lens on the iPhone. Now I'm switching over to the 0.5X lens and I'm going to get a wide shot. I'm moving one of my handles to the top here. I'm going to put the other one in my pocket. This makes it easier for me to shoot in the low position. One tip about using your smartphone without a gimbal and doing these kinds of moves that I'm doing, if you're feeling less confident about how steady the shot's going to be, increase the shutter speed. So you can do that in the default app just by lowering the exposure, or you can use another third-party app that lets you actually manually control the shutter speed. But basically, when I feel like it might be a little bit shaky, then I increase my shutter speed. Yeah, we're about to shoot a wide shot uh, of Alexis walking into Grand Central Station with her umbrella. And I was thinking it'd be really cool to start like above her face, and then swoop the camera down as I walk backward. So I'm switching the orientation of the handles. My handles are gonna be upside down. And that's one cool thing about the quick release. It's like when you change your mind about how you want the configuration to go, it only takes a second to get there. You don't have to unscrew anything, screw anything back in. So we're gonna be inverted like this. And then I'm gonna hold this up here and then swoop down as she walks. That's basically the idea. The rain is starting to pick up, so I'm gonna to try to get some shots in the rain. I have the uh, top sort of handle configuration on the cage, two handles sort of like this, 90 degrees. I don't know, we're just going off the top and we're gonna shoot something. I noticed that the cage is actually providing a little bit of shade so that the water doesn't hit the lens. So that's kind of cool. Unexpected benefit. I'm totally gonna butcher these, these chopsticks, bro. So I got the bento box here, we got some rice, chicken teriyaki. We're about to shoot some stuff in Midtown, but we just, we needed food. And this is a good stuff. My crew has never had Andy's mints and they're about to eat for the first time. Yep. <laughs> All right. I've been eating Andy's mints my whole life. I can't believe these guys have never had them. Cheers. Mm. It is minty, just as advertised. Love it. Seven out of ten. I have sort of a love-hate relationship with Times Square, which is where we are right now. This is like a big playground where all the tourists come, and it's crazy, it's chaos. But it is amazing on camera, and it is a special energy. And that's kind of the way I feel about New York a lot, is, you know, Sometimes it's overwhelming, sometimes it's frustrating, but there is an energy that you don't find anywhere else. And for filming, it keeps me fueled. There's always something new, there's always something different, there's always something around every corner that I can shoot. We're at Washington Square Park right now, and this is the park where all the artistic people in New York gather. This is where a lot of the action is every single day, so I'm looking for people that I can get candid shots of to get a flavor of the character of New York. Action. This is my buddy Raul here, and we are in a 1985 Mazda RX-7. 
So I'm gonna use the top handle rig of the cage here. I'm gonna grip it like this, and then I'll be able to hang out the side of the car and hold it low. And action. <laughs> nice. All right, so we're in Chinatown right now, and we're gonna get some bike tricks. This is Chad Douglas. He's the, the best biker in New York. That's me. That's him. And he does incredible tricks that I would never attempt in my entire life. So this is a new thing for me, but I think it's gonna be really cool. All right, we're rolling. Selfie cam time. It's on, it's all you. All right, all right. They have the really colorful lanterns and the scaffolding up there. And if I get like a really low angle with the wide lens and I hold the cage low, then I can do like a little pan of the cage and catch him jumping over me with the bike. I'm using my VND filter at full strength for this because I'm shooting straight into the sky. Do it. Too high? Crap. All right, breakfast time, 6 a.m. Got my cafe con leche and jamón, the traditional Spanish ham. We're at the southernmost tip of Spain right now, and there's a really beautiful coastline here, and I want to get it in just the right light. Now we're at the Plaza de España. This is a huge plaza that was built for a world's fair a long time ago. And I have a flamenco dancer and her band, and I want to film a scene with them here showing the grandeur of the plaza and doing a bunch of really aggressive camera moves because this place gives me a whole lot of space to move around and the smartphone cage helps me keep it all steady. So this kind of shooting is actually a lot more tiring than you might realize watching it because I'm holding the camera at a strange angle and I'm just running in circles over and over. So to get those shots that look perfect, uh, it takes a lot of physical exertion. It's 4.30 p.m. This is the dessert that we're having at 4.30 p.m. in Cadiz. <laughs> now I'm gonna be walking through some thorn bushes. I just pulled a thorn out of my pants uh, because we're supposed to show me walking, trekking through nature, exploring, uh, getting outside of the city, basically, uh, because the phone in the cage is actually pretty rugged. So I'm gonna be walking forward and Lua is gonna be walking backward, handheld, getting a shaky shot with lots of nice lens flare. And because we didn't really plan to shoot this until the last minute, Lua is wearing sandals. Uh, and he is bravely walking through the same thorns that I'm walking through in my nice comfy boots. So let's see how this turns out. Sunset now, we are running out of light. 
He's trying to set up the drone. We're gonna do a very quick flight as I walk down these stairs uh, leading to the beach. We have to catch it before the sun's gone. Action. Thank you for watching. Thank you.